The first image was taken at Aldi on the west side of Bloomington. I chose this picture because I thought it represented the community of people that come here. The people who had been here before simply ignored the sign, but others took the time to read it. They used the sign to figure out how to get a cart because they are locked until you insert a quarter. As I observed people, it was obvious who had been here and who hadn't. I also thought that the text signified why everyone was here. They were here to save money. I see the sign and know that they are not here to pay high prices. This sign follows how it is to create, comprehend, and expanding knowledge. More specifically, it is informative because it tells customers exactly what to do. This is not something you would see in a school, but it is important to keep in mind. Some students may not know how to do something, and creating a sign can help them. This text mainly privileges English speakers, however, they do not. However, they use a, a photo as a guide. Because of this, it is not totally necessary the person knows how to read in order to understand. The next photo was taken at the Garlic Press in Uptown Normal. The picture is of different cards, such as birthdays, weddings, or sympathy cards. I chose this picture because of the way customers interacted with the cards. They were not quick to make decisions, but rather, they would pick, di pick up different cards and read them until they found the perfect one. I found that each person put meaning to the text in different ways. For one person, they had found a funny card, and the next would pick it up and didn't even crack a smile. This photo shows Camborne's conditions, immersion. This is similar to a classroom, because as students search for a book to read, the adults are searching for a card. Both are immersed in the setting, looking for specific text to catch their interest. This area is follow. This area is also following a principle that literacy practices are purposeful. Purposeful. There are many meanings to the text, and they are used for a specific reason. This photo did not convey text, but it was about what I heard. The photo was showing a prayer during a Catholic wedding. This is the first Catholic wedding I had ever been to so I did not know how to interact with what they were saying. The priest would say something and the congregation would respond. I thought I was missing a script, but the more I listened, the more I understood that this is something they had learned to do. This is another way for them to worship and be an active member of the church. In this setting, I was experienced two of Cameron's conditions, immersion and approximation. I was immersed in this language process and I had to learn by listening. I began to make guesses about when I should talk or if I should talk at all. This text privileges, privileges those who have studied it in the Catholic Church. This can be applied in a school setting when we assume our students know what we are talking about, but to them it's just a bunch of jargon. The photo can also be applied to the principle that literacy practices contain ideologies, values, which is very true for a church setting. This photo is taken at the train station in Uptown Normal. I chose it because it is the main way people communicate with the train station. They simply look at the board and they know where and when the train is coming. This is the first form of text people check when they walk in the door or they are checking for delays. There are many screens inside with the same information that people continually check. Some people were waiting for the train, others were waiting on friends or family, and some were simply just looking at the board because it's inside and they wanted to be warm. This photo is part of responsibility in Camborne's conditions. No one is making them read. They are responsible for reading and being on time. This privileges English speakers, but has very little wording on it. By knowing the number and being able to read the time, the people don't need to know anything else on the screen. The last photo I chose was a sign inside the Family Dollar, located on West Market Street in Bloomington. I chose this because it represented the store and the area. The people inside are all very different, but most are generally low income. This is a place that people will come to grocery shop or buy household supplies. These signs are seen throughout the store and customers use them to determine where the best prices are located. In this store, it was understood if this sign hung above an item, it was on sale. The sign demonstrates holidays function of inf information. It shows that this area has low prices, as demonstrated in the title of the store as well. It also uses multimodal literacy by combining a picture with the text.